I purchased my NVR, which is a network video recorder, probably about a month or two ago. And this one here, this is a box it came in. Uh, but what it is, it's a uh, recorder for your security cameras. I have four cameras. I think I bought the first one probably maybe a year ago, eight months ago, whatever it was. Anyway, I have added on, so now I've got four cameras. But the purpose of bringing it up here, I was using everything in the basement, or uh, had it in the basement, and I did everything through my computer, all the calibration set up, whatever, through my computer. And the apps I used on my Android boxes, phones, whatever. But I still wanted uh, the function that only come from the DVR on my big screen TV, so I moved it up here. So I'll show what it looks like on big screen TV. I'm still learning, and hopefully some of the uh, experts can tell me what I got to do to fix it, because some of these things I cannot get to work right. So hopefully they can, uh, they'll help me. So I'll show you in a minute. Okay, this is what the camera looks like on my 65-inch 4K Samsung TV. But some of the issues I've got, uh, like multi-screen, it only gives me the option of 2x2. Two two. But yeah, it's got uh, two quadrants that's not being used. So I can't figure out how to get uh, those other ones to pop up. But there's my four cameras, they all work. So I'm not sure why it won't come up. And hopefully some of the experts will show me how to do that. Uh, menu, here's... Oh. And I'm using a wireless mouse instead of the, the DVR, NVR. They got NVR is Network Storage uh, Video storage NVR recorder network video recorder and then you got DVR is digital video recorder then you got a PVR which is a personal video recorder so all these acronyms gets confusing so this is an NVR network video recorder for the security cameras okay I got four cameras on this uh, there's actually a four terabyte hard drive inside there that's uh, storing all of my uh, recordings on Again, this is all new to me. I'm just uh, probably only had a couple hours, three or four hours total using this box uh, camera. Now here's the motion. Okay, now I put it up here just to uh, so it would show me whether it's recording or not. I don't need it that far. But anyway, um, that's how you set that up. Now on this particular camera, this has, a, 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 what do you call it, where you break the line or whatever intrusion, but I don't see it on here. It's, it's on my computer, I use a configuration on a computer, but I don't see it here. It may be here somewhere, but I have not found it. But again, again, I have not put too much time on this. Um, playback. Now this is the main reason I wanted it up here, because the playback on some of these other devices are awfully slow. Awfully slow. Um, this one here, now I can play back, uh, again I'm just learning this, 64 speed right there, 64 speed, that's a flying. It goes up to 128 speed. We better slow that baby down a little bit. But I'm just learning some of the functions. Move forward uh, 30 seconds. Okay, now we're in the daylight. If you notice up here, here's the time. Uh, June the 5th at 2, 2 p.m. And I guess I can make it jump for an hour. Thirty minutes. Fast forward. Again, 128 speed. That's fast. That is fast. So, 
Anyway, that's what I was going to show you there. Uh, front, garage, etc. Same thing. So, uh, but that's what mainly what I wanted upstairs for before it was downstairs in the basement. And so I, I brought it up here. Uh, what else can I show you? But anyway, that is the biggest problem I've got. It, I cannot get it to give me multi-screen, which I want multi-screen. But I'm missing this one and this one. They're there, but I can't, I, I can't get them. Maybe some of the experts can show me how to do that, because I can't figure it out. Uh, let's see, what else is we going to see? Okay, uh, now, another problem I've got, now if I go out of this uh, screen right now, I've got it connected directly to my TV. I've got three inputs on my Samsung TV, and I've got it connected directly to one of those. So, since there's no audio, I don't have it going through my sound system, obviously. But now, when I do go to a different device and then come back, it wants to shut off. And I check the settings in my... Uh, uh, TV and it's there's nothing there, so I'm not sure what the it's setting is. So I'll show you what I mean. Okay, now this one's going to my little Android box that I'm running the uh, IVS, whatever you want to call it, app. Okay, yeah, this is the app that's running on there. And if you notice those little thumbnails on the left hand side. I'm going through a, an HDMI switch, and what it does, it shows these thumbnails for about uh, half a minute, 45 seconds, whatever, of three other devices that are connected to that, um, that device. But anyway, if you see here, I get all four of these um, pictures. I get all four of them, but this one I don't, so I don't know why or what. All right, now we'll go back to the other one. Okay, now back to my TV. This is directly going from my NVR. Now see, it comes up to this, the unlock pattern. I gotta use the unlock pattern. It says, you wanna shut the system down. No, I don't wanna shut it down. But if I turn the uh, TV off for the night, uh, that message pops up. If I change inputs on the TV, that message pops up. I don't know why, so maybe somebody can help me on that. And this here, I have no idea what that means. It's set. I click set. It looks like it's set. I got it on motion detection. I don't know what else to check. So uh, some of these experts can guide me on that. But basically what this uh, video is for is... Uh, show some of the things that I need a little assistance on to make it work right. So hopefully some experts have got some answers. Thank you very much.